So have I got a surprise for you. After nearly two years since the last version, Chessbase 17 is just around the corner. And in this video, I'm going to give you a sneak preview, an actual look at the new features that will be coming out with it. Now, bear in mind, these features are not the only features you can expect over the next two years. Because when Chessbase 16 came out, it came out with a fixed number of features. But over the two years since it first appeared, a number of new features have been added to it. Not just updates and bug fixes and whatnot, but genuinely valuable new features, such as the replay training feature that I mentioned in another video. In any case, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about the features that you can expect when Chessbase 17 comes out. Now, among these are, for example, um, a database improvement. So basically, when you add games to it, you can expect it to be a little bit faster. There are also, and these are the real standouts, some absolutely amazing new features regarding engine use. And I'm not joking when I say amazing. You'll see. I mean, we're talking something you never saw anywhere else before. And there are also, and this is honestly, at first when I heard about it, I wasn't really that excited about it. But then when I saw it, I was just flabbergasted. And these are the new search functions. Now, you're going to say like, well, OK, that's, that's cool. But no, really. So this is Chessbase 16. And I've opened up Mega Database 2022. And you have the standard opening scene. Um, this is the presentation screen. You have the introduction, player preparation, and all that jazz, and the tabs and whatnot, and all of what you would expect when you open it up in Chessbase 16. But let's go straight to the search function. So here, for example, we have game data. This is the tab up here. Um, and it says white. And I have Ivanchuk, Vasily Sudden. That was my last search. Fine. Uh, black, tournament, ignore colors, wins only, and all that jazz. Um, and I can filter it as I want. I can also filter for annotations as well. So I'll click on annotations. And again, I have lots of information here. I can ask for specific words. I can ask for different types of annotations. I only want colors, training, symbols, variations. You're going to have to go through a lot of little pages and whatnot to narrow down the exact details and features that you're looking for. Now let's check out Chessbase 17, and you're going to see how friendly it is to guide you and help you get the results you want. Now, here we have what essentially looks like a clone of Chessbase 16, and you might be thinking, OK, it looks pretty much the same. And of course, it is. But now, if I click on Filter List, I am presented with a very different screen. Now, let's start with looking for the player. OK, so we'll click on Everyone, Set Filter by Players. No, I don't want everyone. So I click on this, and I click on Player. And here already it looks a little simplified, which is nice. And immediately, as I write the first letters, it begins to propose all of the names it found in the database with those letters in the name. So I have Gary Kasparov at the top. I have Alina Kashlinskaya, Kazim Zanov, and more, because they all start with K-A-S. But I've, I narrowed down to Casp. And already, I have fewer names. And you'll notice that I have two Kasparovs. That's because among the grandmasters, there's also a second player who's not nearly as prestigious, of course, as the great Gary, who is Sergei Kasparov. But he's an active player. And if you only write Kasparov, you're going to find games between Gary Kasparov and Sergei Kasparov and their respective opponents. So here, instead of having to write it all down, I can simply click on the name I want, Gary Kasparov. And I'm good. And immediately it tells me 2,721 games found in Mega Database 2022. But let's start fine tuning all of that information. Let's click on any event. I don't want any event. So here you have the filter of the tournaments it has the name of the event, the place, the location, you know, the flags that attribute to it. But let's suppose that I want to find Linares. I don't care about the year, all of the Linares games. And immediately it has filtered this down, and it's going to find all of the events called Linares. So I click on OK. Brilliant. It found already 168 games. 
all by Garry Kasparov, and all in Linares. But let's narrow that down a little bit more. Let's say I only want the games played between um, 1988 and 1995. There we go. And already it has reduced that search down to 63 games. So you can see that we haven't even run like this complete search, but we already know that there are 63 games that match our criteria. This is super helpful. Now I want openings, yeah. What kind of openings? And you can see now we have a list of the openings. You don't actually have to write it down. You can go down the list if you want, or you can start trying to find specific openings. I want all of his games played with the King's Indian defense. And we'll start with, oh, let's say the Fianchetto, and we'll go all the way to the mighty main line. And immediately it shows us that out of those 63 games, 19 games now match our search. I think that's good enough. Let's click on search and see those 19 games. And here we have the games, Gelfand, Portish, Yusupov, Gulko, and other players all playing against Garry Kasparov including, of course, some of his famous losses, such as his loss against Vladimir Kramnik. We open it up, and we have the game and commentaries by Vladimir Kramnik. Thank you, Mega Database. So now you've seen the new search function that's going to come out with Chessbase 17. And as you can see, it is an enormous improvement over Chessbase 16. Chessbase 16 was absolutely competent and useful, and you could do everything you wanted. But user-friendly isn't exactly how I would have described it. Chessbase 17, though, is leaps and bounds better. You can easily start punching in the results little by little, seeing what your search function is expected to yield, and get to where you want so much easier and so much faster. So thank you for joining me in this sneak preview, and join me in the next video in which I introduce to you the new engine functions, which, believe me, are going to blow your mind.